After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the Twelve Colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. Pycon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Yes, Commander.
We've got a new Dreadus contact. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Missile tubes prepped. Ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. On it, Commander. Launching alert vipers. Squadron target is confirmed. Yes, sir. say we all. Understood. Manticore is taking damage. 
fighter squadron is taking fire. Hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do.